here, and I will be playing some more Final Fantasy 1 as part of my Final Fantasy Marathon. I am currently fixing my camera quick, so give me one sec. There we go, that's better. And we are going to continue where we left off yesterday. Today is the second of 2019. It is a Wednesday. We're gonna have some fun. And uh just refreshing all my things, tabs, browsers etc. To make sure my bot is up and running, you can use the exclamation point Final Fantasy command and chat on my Twitch live streams for those watching this on YouTube. I currently have my schedule set to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every week, well every day right now, but that it may change in the future, but only slightly unless I get a new job of some kind, which I'm hoping to do, so I'll inform everybody when my schedule changes, I changes, I use the uh, thing set up for it. And um, let's begin, shall we? left off at this town, I had bought and stuff, and then saved. Final Fantasy game spells become multi-target or single-target. First one, it seems like they are just single-target. Why is this Black Wolf not an idea? I'm trying to think of something to say, but I'm not really sure what to say. Uh, I hope everybody had a good New Year's. Uh, there's nobody here right now, so I'm basically talking for the people watching this on YouTube, unless some new viewers show up. Um, for some reason, uh, I set up my bot using Streamlabs, and I use Streamlabs OBS. And uh, with their suggestion was to make a new Twitch account for my bot. In which case, uh, it works. And because it's a secondary Twitch account, it counts as a viewer. So although it says two viewers right now, that would be my regular account and my Twitch account. <laughs> well, I don't have any viewers right now, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, I, I, I'm here to have fun and play games. So, 
other than that, my New Year's has been going all right. I'm back to, well, doing stuff tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow night. And I did buy some games for the Steam sale for winter and New Year's. And I got Darkest Dungeon. I got some RPGs that I want to play after Final Fantasy on stream. I got some stuff planned for the upcoming month after my marathon. I should probably heal my Black Mage before my Black Mage dies. up to heal. And my Black Mage is dead. Lovely. And everybody is paralyzed. What is this bullcrap? So my team is getting destroyed by a couple of gas now. Everybody's paralyzed yet again. I really do not like my warrior. Okay. Go up again. Other than having some nice holidays, I did get uh, the uh, NES Classic the remake thing. Uh, they re-released it after selling out of their, you know, stock the first time. I got one of those for Christmas, as did my brother and sister. And um, I got a new capture card. It's a uh, P-Y-L-E Pile Company, and uh, here's the box for it, and that is the name of it, PVRC52, and that is what I'm using to stream this right now, and it, uh, it's pretty good quality, except there's a small delay between the game machine and the computer screen, and my white page went down when I wasn't looking. Anyways, uh, that's my capture card that I have set up. It, uh, I think it seems to be working just fine. Uh, I went for it rather than like Elgato or anything like that because uh, this one has the input for all systems. It has composite, component, and HDMI, and a lot of the other capture cards don't have all of them. And you kind of need at least two of them. I need component and I need HDMI. And uh, components for my older systems like my uh, PS2 here. And uh, HDMI is for my newer systems like Xbox One and PS4. Computer I can just stream straight off of and uh, don't have a way of doing handheld systems like Game Boy. Uh, 3DS or anything. I'm not exactly ha sure how you're supposed to stream them, but most people I've seen just put a video camera up to them. In which case, I could stream them, I just wouldn't be on the camera. It would literally just be my camera and me playing the handheld game. Ah, I forgot that I was going to talk to the pirates before I left the town. Do I need a phoenix down or like to see somebody to heal my guys or can I just heal them at an inn? Um, 
can't see if they can heal at an end or not. I know in later games you have to use Phoenix Downs to revive them. And uh, seems like I actually have some viewers now, so how's everybody doing today? You guys have a good New Year's? Mostly talking for uh, the video that's going up on YouTube. Uh, I plan on streaming for another hour. Uh, my sessions go from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, I need to check my party to see if they healed. They did not, so I need to find some way to revive these guys. This is my first time playing the first Final Fantasy game. And I think I see a cross on this building. It's like a church or something? It is a church. Probably where I get... Yep. Okay, so use churches to revive them. Looks very similar to how Dragon Quest is set up. Now let's see. And Dragon Quest... Well, Dragon Warrior 3 slash Dragon Quest 3, they're revived the same exact way. But that was made by NX, not Squaresoft. But in Final Fantasy 3... Well, not Japanese 3, but Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, technically. I think you also revived them via churches or something, but honestly, I haven't played them in so long, it's hard to remember. They're at 1 HP when they get revived. That is awkward. And this guy needs information. There we go. So wasting some more money on the end. And I'm gonna talk to the pirates. Alright, my party's back and ready to go. And um see if the pirates do anything. I might as well save. Then I gotta grind a bit and level up my characters and get some gold to buy new gear. Looks like I have lost my viewers. Nobody decided to talk, but I'm still here. And um, we'll see what the pirates do. And this, this guy's blocking my path. Due to the delay, I can't see when they move or not. It's sometimes awkward. I mean, it doesn't show like it's delayed on the camera, but my button inputs are actually coming out like a second after I put them in, if not two. And as I thought, the pirates would engage me if I spoke to them. That is a lot of pirates. That is nine pirates. They're doing what they want because a pirate is free. They are most definitely pirates. Alright. Pirates are water based, right? So, so they're afraid of lightning. Hopefully, bolts of weakness. They all do one damage to my main character. And they're very weak. Oh, that is a good sign. I can easily kill all of them. So, they have 19 or less hit points. And I am doing exactly that much damage with every attack. do 6 damage to the fire age. They have 18 or less HP, as 18 is the lowest thing. 34 damage on that board. They have less than 15 HP, or equal to or less than 15 HP each. Because 15 is my lowest hit. That worked out well. Got some level ups. Pirates are down. Take my ship. Uh, 
What? <laughs> so I beat up some pirates, and they give me a ship. How does that make any sense? Pirates are supposed to be dead or alive. They don't... Ay, ay, ay. They are very shameful pirates, giving up their entire ship because somebody beat them up. A true pirate would rather die than give up his ship. Unless he's joining a better pirate crew and wants to join that pirate crew. I have a ship, apparently. Where the heck do I go to use it? Outside, I hope. Really? Log and move it. So... So I have a ship now, and apparently this is a shipyard. Privateer is trying to take me ship. Give him my good black. These guys are actually tanky. a ship means I can sail all over this world and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. So currently all I know is that I'm supposed to defeat the forces of darkness and bring light back to this world. As far as I can tell, the world is light enough to see. But there's monsters and terrible people everywhere. A single privateer is trying to commandeer my ship. Very impressive game. Privateer is now dead. Sweet. can do damage though. Nice hit. Hit. Still very much a live shark. Okay, now it's dead. That thing is tanky. Very, very tanky. I did get a new follower, which is Looty Looty Gaming, and for some reason my alert didn't notify me. Um, I know the problem. My alert box is not over top of my uh, thing. Give me one sec to fix that. person's actual name. I know him from Salty Sea Mage's channel. Uh, Salty's a pretty cool guy. I highly recommend his channel. Same thing with him and any of his friends who I've become friends with. 
There's a streamer called Anxiety. I think he's streaming right now. I don't know when he's stopping. There's Looty Booty Gaming. Uh, Salty Sea Mage. Anxiety Gunnar. And C Thunder. Don't know if he has anything else to his name. But those are the main ones I can remember right now. They're pretty cool people. If you like my channel, like my video, uh, you'll probably like their channels too. They're pretty cool people. Uh, go ahead and check them out. Right now we are beating up some Google Spoons and an Ogre, and I should probably be able to attack him. And I need to move my mic for a minute. Uh, sorry about that. I I think I heard my parents yelling or something, but uh, I don't know if you can hear them in the background, I just didn't want, like, yelling to be in the back of the video or anything. Uh, for some reason, my parents are being very loud. Use the potion, I need to use magic to heal my guys up. So, I'm going to do that. And, uh... Well, starting next month, I'll no longer have to be worried about background noise such as the annoying aquarium over there that you can probably hear the weird bubbling, parents or family. Sorry about that again. I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, I don't want to save the memo game. Apparently I should not press R2. Anyways, back to the game at hand. Oh look, another kingdom. I can buy stuff or heal. Right after I use stuff on my bed. I'm going to grind a little bit more and then head to an end. Of course it had to be Cobras. Poison kicked my ass before. <laughs> oh, snakes. It had to be snakes. Indiana Jones reference. I haven't actually seen too many of the Indiana Jones movies. I remember seeing Crystal Skull and I thought it was okay, not great. Uh, I do know about some references from the show. Um, I'm not really a movie goer so much. I'll watch some movies, but I have a hard time sitting through a lot of them. I'm, however, more patient when it comes to anime. Things I really find interesting. For example, I just recently binge watched all of One Piece from episode 1 to current day. Uh, after about like a month and a, or a month or two of watching it. Granted, I would skip through a lot of the episodes because I knew a large portion of the storyline already. Just from people talking about it or from friends or from playing. I played uh, the One Piece Pirate Warriors game. Basically Dynasty Warriors, but based on One Piece. So I knew a lot of the story from that, and I also had uh, friends explain to me some of the things I didn't understand about the story then. Because I wasn't really worried about spoilers. Like, I like this show, but it's like, it's popular enough that just about everybody knows about it. But, um... I, I can sit down and be patient for things like that, and of course I always play video games, so my attention's focused on that. 
And just certain movies, I just, I, I sometimes like the movies, and some of them can keep me engaged. Others, it's like, I like this, but it's not something I'd want to watch, like, for an hour and a half. Uh, I noticed a lot of Indiana Jones is a bit of, like, exposition and stuff. <laughs> I can get two spells. They are very expensive level 3 spells. I do not have 1500 gold to buy that. And I uh, may or may not be hearing my mother in the background for a minute, so I'm gonna mute my mic. I've heard of this reference. They reference The Legend of Zelda in Final Fantasy. I am so happy to finally see the reference in person. They put the Link reference there. And then... Um, let's see what the White Mages have to offer. As for... Um, okay, more level 3 spells that are very expensive. As for what's going on with my mom, it has to deal with my sister, her boyfriend, and my sister being pregnant, and them having relationship struggles. I'm sure a lot of people have had issues with that before and can probably relate. So my mom's going over to talk to them. And um, she's also talking to her dog right now, if you can hear her. Um, no clue. I'm gonna mute my mic for a minute. So yep, as I said, there is some issues going on, and uh, my mom's going over to take care of it. And hopefully my stepdad does not have to get involved, because if he gets involved, that means bad things for my sister's boyfriend. Apparently uh, he's been mistreating her, and I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But, uh, from what I've met of the guy, he's a bit of a compulsive liar. But, uh, they're getting that handled, and I can, can just continue playing here. Um, I noticed some people finally showed up in the stream. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I just, uh, found the, uh, link reference they made on the one tombstone up here, and I had to mute my mic for a couple minutes to talk to my mom, and, uh, just bought some gear for my guys, and I need to grind for some spells, because some of these spells are just expensive, they're at 1500 gold, and I just... Okay, so level 3 or 1500, and level 4 or 4000. I cannot afford that right now, and I will need to grind. I also have no idea where I'm going, so grinding doesn't seem like a bad thing until I can safely get to the next objective. I mean, I got a ship by beating up some pirates, which is pretty cool. And, um... Yeah, we got a ship, we got some good gear, and we can just beat up some wolves and other creatures to get money out of them. 
or we could constantly miss every single attack and barely kill the first wolf. Lovely. So I'll be streaming for about another half hour. I'm only doing hour sessions right now and from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. each night until one I can get a more consistent schedule. And I also want to keep it to hour sessions for on YouTube. Uh, I may stream longer in future sessions as I'm just getting back into streaming after a hiatus of sorts. So, uh, I'll probably end up going for future time from 6 to 8, but I'll do a small break at 7 to turn off the stream and turn it back on so I have the video ready for YouTube in an hour session. And then of course I'll make a playlist for each of my playthroughs. Uh, you can use the exclamation point Final Fantasy command in the chat to get some information about my upcoming marathon of all the Final Fantasy games if you're interested. And uh, I have to heal my white white mage right now because my white mage took a hit. And, uh, boop. And boop. White mage back to full age. Well, too lower than full HP. Good enough. Time to keep running. And over here on the right, you can see my ship. This game's probably been played a lot in the past. I mean, Final Fantasy is pretty popular from what I've heard. But, um, I've never actually played the first one, the second one, and the Japanese that was released to English third one. I played every Final Fantasy from the 4th to the 15th, not including 11 or 14 in the past. And I know the storylines of most of them. I didn't get to finish 5, I got to the second part of 6, which is the Armageddon type thing, like the New World Armageddon, everything's been destroyed, Kefka's now leader, and I, I know the story of 7, never finished it, but I got to the free roam part of it, and if anybody's played 7, there's a huge amount of free roam. Estos, oh, so I went into the castle, not the village this time. And the prince is apparently in a deep sleep, and this is not how I'm going to kill my poison. Need to go to the village, and then I got attacked. <laughs> but, um, I know the- I played through the entirety of 10. 10-2, 12-13, 13-2, 13 lightning returns, and 15. I started but didn't finish, uh, or I've also played through the entirety of 4. I started but never finished 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Um, I think my 8 disc is malfunctioning right now. Now, same with my disc for 4 and 5, and I will be testing them soon, but I mean, I have to get through the first three games anyways. Uh, the first two is Origins, and I'll be playing using these this single CD to play both of them. And uh, once I'm done with them, I'll be switching to my computer for 3, which is the Japanese release to English. Um, the only places I could find that had 3 was the 3DS, the Japanese NES uh, Classic, uh, the Famicom release, Famicom release, and uh, on Steam. So I'll actually be using the Steam version of it. It was really cheap too, and plus with the Christmas sale. I mean, it works really well. Uh, if any of my future discs that I'm testing don't work, uh, I will either purchase a new disc, 
or um, I'll buy it on Steam and play it there. Uh, I will know what I'm doing for 4, the beginning of 5, most of 6, up until I reach the, uh, the second world, but even then with 6, it's still pretty straightforward. Okay, so he won't heal me. Oh, please, I need to just revise people. I need to find a shop. That isn't for armor or weapons. And this poison is kicking my ass again. Okay, I think this is the item shop. But, um... I played through all the four and did all the extras. And when I get to future Final Fantasies, a decent amount of the games have extra content that aren't like straightforward you go to the final or you fight your way through the game go to the final boss uh i'm gonna have if i have a, a lot of viewers or something or even if i have one viewer i'm gonna ask them would they prefer to have me go through the extra content as well as the game content or should i just play to the end of the game and don't really focus on the extras uh, this mostly comes into play with, I'd have to say, the start of, it starts at 4. I don't know what Extras 3 has, because I haven't played through it. But I'd have to say this starts at at least 4. Because you don't technically have to go around uh, getting all the espers. Like, there's a side cave where you can get Bahamut numerous other things. Well, I'd prefer to do it in that game because the final boss is very difficult, but there's a weird strategy that works for him that you don't necessarily need them. Uh, final Fantasy 4 boss is actually really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And I just forgot that I bought, spent all my money on antidotes and cannot afford the inn. I'm going to be relying on my HP as is, and I have two cure cast. So I'm going to heal my most wounded people. And I accidentally stop. Okay, so my black mage goes down, my black mage goes down. Um, but in four, there is some extra content I can do, and viewers can take a vote then. Uh, in 5, I'm not sure if it has extra content or not, I managed to get to, I'm trying to think how far percentage-wise it would be through the game, I'd say at least 20% through the game, and it was mostly straightforward from what I've seen. Uh, in 6, I'd say it was 50% through the game. I beat the first half of it, got to the second half when everything changes. And uh, I know there is some extra stuff with that, and there's different solutions to uh, certain areas of the game. Uh, an example being, at the end of the first half of the game, you can make a choice to leave at a certain time, and you get access to a character compared to if you waited a certain amount of time. Like, you can go immediately, or you can wait to a specific time, and you, you get a character that would have died storyline-wise at that time. And you basically just adapt the story based on how long you wait. Okay, I use a potion... I don't have enough money yet to do, go to the end, but I'm trying to conserve my potions because they also cost money. So, um, with 6, there will be some things. Oh, and in 6, you can go around collecting, uh, for one of the characters, they get songs and dances, and another character gets a monster moves. In which case, going around and getting all of them is basically extra content. You don't have to go collecting them. Uh, you, you, of course, can miss some, but they're not required to beat the game. Things like that. And 
and then like uh, seven just has a ton of free roam. Uh, of course, I'm gonna look up at what's a good level to be at, beat the final boss. I'm not gonna go outright and speedrun some of these things, so basically I just look for a standard regular strategy to beat them. And eight, uh, eight's a little different. There is extras. I'll probably play a little bit of the card game in eight just to show the viewers about it. It's fun, but I'm not gonna go around collecting all the really good cards and doing the things for that. And it's not necessary to beat the game, it, it's just like a little fun side game that gives you bonuses. Um, in 8, however, I will actually be using a guide. Uh, I might use a guide for 7 as well on certain things. Uh, 8 has a reason, is because the espers, or the summons you get in 8, are very relevant to the gameplay. By having more of them, you get stronger. Uh, you can uh, basically some of them are missable, but you can get some earlier than other times by absorbing them from a boss. And if you miss it on the boss, you can also obtain them later in the game. But I'll be making sure to pay close attention to that in eight. That way, I don't have to wait until you have uh, acts or chapters in eight. And you can get certain ones in chapter one or chapter two. And, oh, it's disc. It goes by disc. So, like, for example, the Esper Siren in eight is very early on in the game and very easily missable, but is very strong. Like, not strong relative to, like, every single other one, but is very helpful early game to get. So with 8, I'll be making sure to get the espers as soon as they're available. But like, for actually going around getting all the cards, I'm not going to do unless, like, viewers want me to. One of my characters is immediately- two of my characters are immediately poisoned by these characters. In this game, poison keeps kicking my ass. So, um... For 9, there's also a card game in it, and there's some little side activities, and I'm going to do them, but it's I'm not going to like make it and go out of my way to get everything from them. Like, there's a skipping rope thing in 9, and if you do it a certain amount of times, you get a little extra item that doesn't do anything other than giving it to you for actually jumping rope. At least as far as I know, it doesn't do anything special in the game. It's just for entertainment. It's like uh, getting an achievement that says, I did it for the achievement. Which some Xbox games or PS4 games or PS3 games actually have that. Um, other than that, with 10, uh, 10 has post-game content. Uh, when you get the airship in 10, you can fly to new places, in which case I may, like, demo the area, but I'm, as soon as I beat the game, I'm gonna beat the game. Uh, there's also the monster arenas on which you can face the secret bosses of the games. Now, when it comes to doing extras for the game, I will probably revisit several of the G Final Fantasy games and do the extra content. But that will probably be on separate streams that will not be part of the main series of me playing for my marathon. So for the upcoming YouTube video series, the playlist for this, it's basically going to be Final Fantasy in its own playlist, my whole playthrough of it. And it'll be Final Fantasy 2, its own playlist, its playthrough. Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, etc. Uh, at some point, I may add, like, okay, extras, uh, bonus things, card game, collection, etc. And have a stream for that. But it'll be far after I finish Final Fantasy 15 for my playlist. And, uh... 
if, if, if viewers want it, if I have viewers on YouTube asking for it or on Twitch, I can go ahead and just work on those and start streaming that. I mean, I'm fine with it. I love doing a lot of the extras in the game, and I hope that's something people want to see. Uh, for those uh, on Twitch, if uh, you're here and enjoying the stream, feel free to give me a follow. Uh, for those watching this on YouTube, I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos so far. Uh, I have some other playlists already, uh, one of Doom that I didn't finish. Uh, Doom 2016 that I didn't finish and probably will in time. Uh, probably for Halloween this year I'll finish it. I started it Halloween last year and uh, it was fun and I'd love to go play it again. I was doing a 100% run of it, blind playthrough. And, um, kind of out of breath. Um, other than that, if you're on YouTube watching this and you like the content, feel free to su subscribe below. Uh, leave some comments or something, any suggestions for future streams, and you can always catch me at twitch.tv slash mastermars. Uh, right now, I'm mostly just doing grinding. I, I think this stream is just going to be mostly me grinding, because I think I have an idea of where to go. But I'm pretty sure I can't do the quest right now without grinding out some gold levels because everything seems to be kicking my butt. So, um, sorry if the game plays a little uh, boring today. I'm always told though that people come more so for the streamer, not for the gameplay. I, I, a lot of people probably already seen Final Fantasy 1. They just want someone pretty cool or chill or entertaining or something. Uh, I just like to talk. I like making new friends and uh, most of that. I also love playing video games. Like I absolutely love playing video games. I especially love RPGs. My favorite game, for example, is Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, and I have streamed that, and we'll be streaming that again sometime. I also have Skyrim, which will be streaming other RPGs that I have. Uh, I also love Bullet Hell games as my punishing game of choice. Uh, some RPGs that can be challenging, like Bloodborne is one of my favorite games. Final Fantasy is my favorite game series, and Square Enix is my favorite game company. Uh, Enix more than Squaresoft, oddly enough. But that's just because Dragon Warrior 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. But since they combine them as a company entirely, and it, honestly, I think they're awesome. They make great games. I was a little disappointed with some of the things in 15, but... They put a lot of work in it to make it easier for new players. So, for experts at Final Fantasy games, 15 came off as pretty easy for me. I kind of got into the gameplay really fast. I was able to pick out some, not exactly exploits, but basically ways to cheese the game. Uh, for example, even if Noctis gets downed, he gets to zero HP and he's revived, he can still use items for whatever reason. But that's because you can't just game over if Noctis hits zero HP. You'd have to game over if the entire party hits zero HP. But for some reason, instead of giving you access to another party member, Noctis is the only item user. So in this case, you can use an item with Noctis get yourself back up, or, you know, grind out 50 Mega Phoenixes and you never have to worry about a thing. No, no, seriously, I have way too many Mega Phoenixes on Final Fantasy 15. it's not funny. The game is really easy when you can't die. Like, they're so easy to get. I, I do a lot of the hunts and side quests, and before I knew it, I had like 20 to 50 of them. <laughs> I don't know how many I have now, but mega potions and other things also work. Okay, so I didn't pay attention to what this guy said. Astos caused 
five years ago. Wow. Okay, so this gave me no hint as to where to go. So I have to find some item to lift this guy's curse, or I have to get rid of Astos, whoever Astos is. Oh. A witch named Matoya. There we go. We have the information we need. We can get this potion to wake this guy up. Perfect. They, that person standing outside the castle was exactly the guy I needed to talk to. Now I need to figure out where this Matoya is. I guess I'm going to be talking to some... Stay still. Okay, you're useless. You just want me to help the prince. You have no idea how to help him. Uh, there was something weird I noticed about the other magic shop. I'm going to check that quick. This name Matoya. Which name Matoya is the key? What does this person say? Okay, so that person's a prophet waiting for a vision. Good luck with that. I suggest smoking something or taking drugs to do that. That's usually what they did. That's how the Oracle of Delphi worked in Greece. They literally got prophecies from a drugged up girl. No, I, I, I'm serious. The prophet at Delphi in Greece during Greece times, history says she was constantly drugged to determine prophecies and dreams of the future. Whether it actually worked, I don't know. But according to a lot of stories from Greece, it did as several of the predictions came true. They never said what happened though with the predictions that didn't come true. There's two prophets in that town that didn't help me at all. If you could at least tell me where Matoya is, thank you. But, um, so we're gonna go look for Matoya. Uh, I'm gonna see how far I get before my party gets too weak, and, um, got about six minutes left for the stream. So, instead of grinding, I'm gonna be searching this area for a cave or something. So we got a big mountainous area here, we got a big forest, and we have more cobras. I am two enemies I so far really don't like facing, cobras and tarantulas. Although I like snakes and spiders for getting rid of more smaller annoying pests, I don't like getting poisoned. Like this, this poison effect, it does one damage to you every time you step. Which is worse, it's as bad as early Pokemon, but not as bad as new Pokemon. And I, I, I wonder when they made these games that they actually realized poison was being way too strong of an effect. And they, they just outright had to nerf it because of so many complaints. Especially with how many steps you actually have to take before you can get back to a down. Thankfully, I stocked up on antidotes and can cure a decent amount now. <coughs> um, let me take a drink quick. I feel it's getting dry. I should probably have water, but I have orange soda. Um,. I don't know why I just drank a lot of soda instead of water, but it'd be healthier to drink water. I'm, um, since I'll be moving at here, uh, and I'll be out of the house in a month, I can just, uh, I can just stock up on water and not soda at all. Like, that I can just make healthier life decisions myself instead of living with my parents. So, um... I have no idea where this Matoya is, this map is pretty big. I keep getting attacked, and uh, this session will be a little bit longer than an hour, I guess. Beating up the 
ogre's not green. I think this ogre should be green because I want it to be Shrek. Shrek. But I also don't want it to be green because I don't want it to be Shrek. I don't want to beat up Shrek. Uh... I'm trying to think about this damage. Wow. Uh, after the stream, I'm probably going to do a raid for a channel, so I should probably see who's on. Uh, Anxiety is still on. I was at his stream and hosting him before mine started. I'm gonna refresh my page though to double check. But he's just chatting right now. Uh, big name streamer Barbarous King is now online. And, uh, I'm with the TV, uh, actually the, uh, other than me watching a popular streamer, Ryukar, I liked watching Super Mario Maker and platforming games and stuff, well, mostly Mario games, uh, I started watching videos on YouTube, and the first YouTubers I watched were Markiplier, of course, I watched him for the Five Nights at Freddy series. He's by far the most popular, if not just one of the most popular streamers. Like, who, who hasn't? Like, it's hard to find people that haven't heard of Markiplier, uh, but I was homeschooled in 8th uh, to the ninth grade, and that was actually kind of the era where he started coming out as a streamer. And I didn't really learn about him until 12th grade, if not... I didn't learn about him in 10th, I know that. Uh, actually, I might not have even learned about him until college, but most kids at the time I was end of high school, beginning of college, had already gotten to know about Markiplier, PewDiePie, etc. And I learned about him in college, and a friend also got me in the nightclub in college. And I love the music style for some songs. Others seem to chipmunk it. And, um... Trying to get into a comfortable position. But, uh, here's my PlayStation 2 controller. So, I watched him first. He was, like, the first streamer I ever watched. Following that, I didn't really watch any videos about people playing video games. I mean, I just played games. I wasn't into streaming yet. Just played games, did my homework, got through college, graduated. Uh, it wasn't until end of college starting off I started watching streamers more. And uh, the first few I started watching after that was... Original 151, Dobbs Gaming, and I would watch them play Pokemon. I was just interested in their reactions, and they actually looked really well together as a team. I always found their commentary really funny, enjoyable to watch, and then I started watching Ryukar because it was just a suggested video on YouTube. I started getting into Mario Maker, watching that, and then uh, found it very enjoyable. I started watching other streamers, Psycho Plays, and uh, I just got into streaming. Uh, I came onto Twitch, I uh, was looking around at what streaming was. I started streaming myself, and uh, I seen how different streamers would do raids on other channel. And uh, I was looking for somebody who was playing Mario Kart at the time. I just had a weird feeling to play Mario Kart. And, uh, I noticed a pair of twins playing Mario Kart on Twitch. That's I'm Livid TV. And right now, uh, give me one sec, they are playing Assassin Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. And I'll be raiding them soon. Uh, it is past seven, which is a little bit over my time. But I'm trying to get back to town so I can save. I'm gonna start fleeing from these fights. Uh, with Final Fantasy 1, you can either quick save in a memo, which I don't want to do, or you can hard save by healing at an inn, and because I'm low on spells, I need to heal anyways. 
Apparently, my party is having issues running away. Literally all four of them just fail. So, um, we'll be raiding I'm Livid TV soon. Uh, first, I want to get back to this, and that'll be it for this video on YouTube, and it for the stream tonight. I hope those watching it have enjoyed it. Uh, basically just doing my wrap up now. So, uh, twitch.tv slash mastermars for those watching on YouTube. Uh, feel free to hit subscribe below or come see me on Twitch, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I probably reiterated this like four times this video. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, I used to stream back, I started last year, March of last year. I was very inconsistent with my schedule. Uh, I, I skipped like a month or two here and there. I managed to get affiliate though. Uh, I had a consistent viewer. He was a good friend to me. I'm still waiting to see him again. Uh, he amazing person, Brandon, if you're out there or watching this. Hope you're doing okay and would like to see you again. Uh, he gave me $250 in donations paid entirely for my streaming equipment. Like, amazing guy. Gave me a PS4 for my birthday. A, a viewer gives you a PS4 for your birthday. How do you respond to that? That is just an amazing person. And uh, I really want to see him again, and I hope he comes to future streams again. Uh, I did take a hiatus from like end of October to the beginning of this year. I wasn't exactly sure what I had wanted to do for streaming, so I decided to take a break. And I decided to do a Final Fantasy marathon when I came back. So this is the start of the marathon. It technically started yesterday, but like... Here we go. So that's going to be it for this stream. Uh, we're saving and getting off here. So guys, going to bed here. Saving screen's going to pop up. And uh, that'll be it for this stream. Uh, I'm going to save. Uh, okay, going to save. Overwriting. Data save. Uh, with my setup, it's a little awkward. I actually have, um, one of my USB ports is broken. I need to get a USB splitter. So whenever I go to play, I have to detach my keyboard, my front USB, to plug in my capture card. So you're, it's actually paused on this screen, but no video feed is now coming through. And I'm plugging my keyboard back in so I can do the raid command. And that's going to be how it is un until I get a USB splitter. Uh, it's probably not that expensive. I'm going to look up one online here sometime. And uh, we're going to visit I'm Livid TV. Take care.